Hi, this is Presh Talaker. The movie Mean Girls featured a number of math questions. In this video, I'll present each question and then I'll go over how you could solve each one. The first question in the math competition is up on the screen. I'm going to enlarge this question. Twice the larger of two numbers is three more than five times the smaller. And the sum of four times the larger and three times the smaller is 71. What are the numbers? The second question was also put up on the screen. I'm just going to present the text. There was no image in the movie. Find an odd three-digit number whose digits add up to 12. The digits are all different, and the difference between the first two digits equals the difference between... Someone buzzed in and gave the answer. Probably the rest of the question was the difference between the last two digits. Now I'm going to present the third and most famous of the math questions from the movie. Evaluate the limit as x goes to zero of the quantity the natural log of one minus x minus the sine of x all over one minus the cosine squared of x. All right, so those are the questions. Now let's go over how you could solve each one. Let's consider the first question. We have a word problem that relates two different variables, x and y. So let's imagine we have x, which is smaller than the number y. Twice the larger of two numbers, 2 times y, is equal to 3 more than 5 times the smaller number x. So that's one equation. The other equation is 4 times the larger, 4y, and 3 times the smaller, 3x, is equal to 71. We now have a series of two equations and two variables. We can solve this by eliminating one of the variables and then solving for the other. So let's eliminate the y by multiplying the top equation by 2. So we have 4y equals 6 plus 10x. We can eliminate the 4y by subtracting the second equation. So we're going to eliminate the 4y and then we end up with negative 3x equals negative 65 plus 10x. We'll group the x's over to one side, and then we can solve that x is equal to 5. We'll use one of our equations that we'd already started with, and then get that y is equal to 14. So this question is not too difficult, but in this math competition, you would have to solve it very quickly. The second question is more interesting. Find an odd three-digit number whose digits add up to 12. So a three-digit number, x, y, and z, we can think about as 100x plus 10y plus z. So if we want to add the sum of the digits, that's saying x plus y plus z is equal to 12. The second part of the question is that the difference between the first two digits, x and y, so x minus y, is equal to the difference between the next two digits, which is y and z. So in the movie, they give an answer of 741, but actually there's not enough information to solve this question because although 741 does satisfy these constraints, you also have 543, which is another odd digit number whose digits add up to 12 and the difference between the first two is the same as the difference between the second two. So it's actually lucky, maybe they cut it out in the movie that 741 was the correct answer, but just from what we've heard in the movie, we couldn't actually figure it out. So now let's consider the third question. Let's evaluate this limit. If you substitute in, if you just try and substitute in x in the numerator and the denominator, you get an indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0. So this limit is not easy to calculate just by substitution. We're going to have to simplify this a little bit. So let's simplify the denominator that 1 minus cosine of squared, 1 minus cosine squared of x is equal to sine squared of x. This is still an indeterminate form. We really can't divide through or simplify. But we, what we can do is we'll use a trick. We're going to look at the power series approximations of each term around 0. This is a common trick that they use in physics. We don't use it in mathematics as much, but in this particular problem, it can be very useful. 
The term natural log of one minus x is very, very close to negative x when you look around zero. Similarly, sine of x is almost equal to x around zero, and sine squared of x will be almost x squared. These are very good approximations as x gets close to zero. So when we look at the limit as x goes to zero, we can use these approximations to consider what the limit might be. When we substitute these in, we're essentially looking for the limit of negative x minus x divided by x squared. This simplifies to negative 2 over x. And the graph of this looks roughly like this following figure. And when you consider the limit as x goes to 0, we actually find out the limit does not exist. Because as we approach from the negative side, we go to positive infinity. And as we go from the positive numbers, we go to negative infinity. So the correct answer to this question, which is presented in the movie, is the limit does not exist. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can also catch me on social media at Presh Talwakar. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There's a link in the video description.